What is going on, Puck Nation, and welcome back to the original series on my channel. I was the first one to start this in 17, or whenever I did, I, no, it was FS15, correction. Um, this was the warehouse videos, so I was the first one to make it. I am pleased, I am happy to actually make something original, and we're bringing it into FS19. Hope you guys can enjoy it, positive feedback. Smash that like button for the original series on my channel. Other YouTubers have been known for other series with Farming Simulator. We're not going to get into that. This is my little Hall of Fame. So, so today we are using. Let's get his name right here. Or actually, we'll just go into here. <laughs> so, Chop Shop modding um, pallet forks. It's got this plate. Let's turn that off so I don't have to talk over it. So it's got this plate right here that slides up and down, and it's an unloading assist. If you've ever seen in my past um, warehouse videos, I always had problems with some of the pallets. This will kick it off the pallet for me. Let's adjust the volume. Alright, so that's just going to be a little bit of filler noise, not too loud. So we have the long extension forks, um, pallet forks, because some of these have big collisions on them, and the standard forks that come with the game are not going to be able to reach. So we're at the sugar factory on pine, wood, or pine farms, and then we just have a short drive to our warehouse. So we're using the sugar factory as if this factory actually makes these diesel pallets. Make all the crick motors. But these uh, pallet forks work so much better. If I need the unloading assist, I gotta go into the actual forks where I can adjust them and then I can use that block to push them. So we'll load up some pallets. I got three trailers going. If you guys know me from FS15, I can pretty much whip these pretty darn quick as long as all the collisions don't give me issues. I've done time lapse before of whipping these out as this one tries to get away from me. And I just do this with a uh, mouse and keyboard, so. I can whip these trailers out pretty darn quick. Slide them in, strap them down, and we'll head to the warehouse. So, the series is going to be a two-part series. So I'm going to have my little single-player version with the warehouse, and then we have In the Works. Hopefully, In the Works with a couple guys that I met through Facebook. We're going to go, hopefully, on a production map, kind of like Pleasant Valley. I don't know if it'll actually be Pleasant Valley. And if you guys have seen on Mod Hub, there is a bunch of production stuff. So like the meat locker, um, you can make oils and stuff, flour. There's a bunch of production mods out there. And we're going to use the warehouse to store all that stuff. And then when there's a good sale, we all get our trucks, we load the trailers up, and we head over to the sell point. So since I am officially done with college... It has been amazing not to owe that college any more money. And really, my car insurance, like, because my parents made me a deal. And this is for all the kids that they raised. When you start college, they're going to pay your car insurance until you get out of college. Well, I just figured out mine's only 100 bucks every six months. So it's literally like 32 bucks a month. And I'm like, well, that ain't bad. Obviously, it's not full coverage. It's just liability. So, but insurance is insurance, and it doesn't matter what insurance you have. They're going to raise your rates through the fucking roof anyway. So, but once I get my new truck, it will definitely be full coverage. But it's not like I'm going to have a really good job. Hopefully with UPS, I'm on the fence. I don't appreciate um, the contract that we got into because I've been there for four years. I'm making the same amount of money 
as a new hire but if you if you don't look at that picture and you look at my progression rate I'm actually I think I'm right on track with my progression it's just they raised the minimum the minimum starting pay with my progression so I don't know what they're gonna do for me because that is kind of annoying to be at the same rate but at the same time you are just following your progression that you started four years ago I've had some mixed feelings about it but then I gotta keep telling myself you're just gonna be a driver so that may not matter to you anymore or they'll probably come and say well you got your progression four years sooner than everybody else did so with the uh, pilot series I hope you guys uh, definitely check out everything I'll have all the links down in the description below thank you to all the modders I appreciate all the modders I don't know where these comments are coming from that I don't because I stress in my videos that without these modders this game wouldn't be fun at all and we all know that so when people are saying oh you just want credit and stuff oh you're being a big baby about it it's, it's not that we're being a big baby about it we need to make sure that everybody's getting their credits so that they want to stay in mod for this community if you're not getting the credit that you deserve how long are you gonna last in the community ask yourself that so hopefully we can get the multiplayer side going which I'm really excited to finally have time and um, finally have time to record multiplayer stuff as a lot of the people that I've been meeting online through Facebook has well they don't really they're not really up during the day shift or if they are they're busy with their jobs so really the only time they have is after midnight. So when I had to wake up super early in the morning, I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to stay up. So, and thank you guys so much for the last mod spotlight hitting a thousand views. I can't even tell you how happy I am on that. Just a thousand views. Like, if we got a thousand views on every video, that would keep me pumped for a while. That's some good numbers. So keep it up, keep sharing the videos, you guys are doing amazing. And if you want to start sharing my videos, it's pretty easy. Just share them wherever you post in Facebook groups and write a nice little paragraph description saying, hey, I really enjoy this person's content and this is just a generic description. It's not proposing to me. Let's see how much we got here. Ooh. So we are sliding these down. I'm actually pretty good at sliding pallets down. That's how I normally load trailers from the ground. So let's try these uh, commons. They have some weird collisions, especially the uh, the Ford there with the two exhausts coming out. See? see, these are like the weirdest collisions I've ever seen. Oh, there we go. You just need extra long pallet forks to get it. And even that, that's not even covering it. God, you need, like, super extra long forks. And then I don't think you can stab it from the other side. That doesn't look... And it's sad, these are the extra long forks from his pack. Any longer, it just looks so weird on the uh, GCB. And you gotta remember, we're gonna be in a warehouse with these, so you don't want to get too long of forks. Let's try it from this way. Maybe this is the way we're supposed to do it. Problem is, you can't load it onto the truck if you do it this way. No, I don't think you can stab it through there. So some of these are not going to work, but we will work with what we have. Let's try the forward block here.
It's just they're combining with other collisions. I'm not really a big fan of these uh, collisions, so like when I did my pallets in 15, they had no collision except the uh, pallets so that you can actually pick them up. This, this one's not too bad. The question is, will it actually fit in the trailer? What they call these um, fan trailers, I believe. I don't know if we call them in the U.S. Eh, might actually work. Nice, just needed longer pallet forks. We already got one trailer load at the warehouse. I did that last night as a test. And my test said that I needed longer pallet forks. And I said, yep, I'll just get these chop, chop modding forks. And today they actually work. If you would like to play multiplayer, um, I will try to get a couple exclusive people on. So you got to be in the Discord. I'm going to start doing exclusive stuff in my Discord. I am more active through the nights. So it's after, on the weekdays, it'll be after 10.30, 11. So, and then on the weekends, it's depending on what I'm doing. But if I'm free, it will most likely be through the afternoons. So, the Discord is where exclusive stuff happens. If you've got a microphone and you're willing to be appropriate in my videos then you're welcome to join the discord I encourage everybody to get the discord app on their actual computer so you don't have to run it through your web browser and accidentally click it off you know the tab or the window Oh, come on. Oh, I must have got above the collision point. So, thank you to Chris for the only one um, uh, participating in the picture that I posted in Backstreet Boys Modding Group. You were right. It's an old series that we are bringing back. Which I'm definitely really excited about. This was a really fun series to play. We'll load up this last pallet and then I'll show you guys. Oh, I know what we're glitching on that pallet. I'll show you the other stuff. We have a lot of pop beer, stuff like that. Which we'll probably stock up. And then um, I have some, I'll find these original pallets. And then we'll start using the Build It series, the Strap It from Lambo Mods, which you guys should definitely go check out that video. It's on the channel, and we're going to start putting that into the warehouse. Those are kind of some big pieces, but I think we can uh, fit them into the warehouse, and we'll store them. I just need to get in touch with Lambo. We need to actually make some... You know, four foot sections of boards, five foot sections, you know, some legit sizes. Alright, so for other pallets, so far right now, so this is the uh, build it. If you guys didn't see it, you guys will have that. But make some actual length size, those are kind of long. So, and here we have all the crate motors. Here's your 2020 up close for all you fans of the Duramax. We have the Ford Vlock for all you fans. This one's a really nice one. We got the Cummins. And the Diesel. Just a diesel motor. Must be like an older brand. 
And then somewhere around here, not in there. Oh, I think these are actually in this. Yeah, so we have Budweiser. So, very simple logos. Coors. Jim Bean. Pepsi. Which the Pepsi might come out of this area since it is a sugar factory. Uh, since we can load, we might load up construction equipment on the pallets. There is a pallet out there. We might load up all that stuff. Didn't want to press that button. Alright, so we're going to leave this guy here. This is going to be the one that loads up all the stuff here. And we'll take one trailer to the warehouse. We're using the brand new Mac. I believe it's a... Uh, quote, don't quote me on this, but it might be a 2019 or a 2020. So it's one of those years. Alright, so let's go... I don't like how you spawn off the back. We'll go strap our load down. If you glitch out of the trailer. There we go. And then I just like to hit all the straps. Close her up. I think we're going to have to take that trailer out of our way, so... Kind of a tight yard. But the warehouse is just over there. It's not actually too far away. There we go. So we'll go put this on the dock. And... Uh, we'll start unloading in the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to head over to the warehouse if you want to stick for the next couple minutes. And we'll drive over there. This Mac is, <laughs> this thing is beautiful. I really don't um, follow all the major truck brands for semis. But this one definitely caught my eye. Big Truck RV. Um, you know, he reviews a lot of stuff. And this one really caught my eye. It's a really nice truck. Got all of our engines. Got the LS swap and the Ford block there. And the other trailer, it's a mixed match. I know there's the 2020 in there. And the Duramax. So, just a short little drive, just literally a couple blocks. So, I don't know if we're going to be out in the middle of the road here. I didn't really check my surroundings when I placed this building, but it shouldn't be an issue. As long as the trailer's off the road. That's fine. Need to really adjust these mirrors. And what's nice is all the doors automatically open on the warehouse. So you can have them in the automatic setting or you can actually permanently open them. That's nice for when you're backing up the doors. And 
there goes the door. So let's check the height before we drop this trailer, because I always had issues. Oh, that's perfect. They did a good height job. Nice and square, too. Eh, tiny bit off, like a foot off. A couple in, eh, maybe a couple inches, but that's fine. So the trailer fits, but not the truck, so that's fine. And then we got another trailer back here we'll grab real quick. And then our next episode, like I said, will be uh, unloading and organizing the warehouse. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for a thousand views on the Mod Spotlight. We're getting this channel back up to its where it would actually produce profit which you know if you're gonna do a hobby I know everybody doesn't like me saying this or anyone saying this but if you do a hobby guys make sure you're getting some reward out of it I know it doesn't always have to be money it could be you know helping somebody out in the community you know donating your time but anytime you do something make sure you're getting a reward out of it you know if you're gonna go do some charity work make sure you get something in return like free food or something I don't know what they usually do for charity work or you get hours that you can turn in at your real job you know at your normal job because I think I can do that with UPS I can go do charity work and then report back to them and say hey I just did eight hours of charity work I don't know if they'll do anything but the way that UPS is working I don't think they'll do shit no rewards there and I'll show you the last trailer as a little sneak peek we got some more engines we have two Duramaxes up there some more Fords and then the old diesel as we're uh, diesel motors were stuck in here but it's a very cool warehouse if you guys never seen it this is the unload station you walk through here this is the loading department. This is where ha you have all your shelving. We'll be filling these up with a bunch of stuff. You got multiple bays. Um, and then I, what I like to personally do over here is in the last bay, we store vehicles. So out of these bays, we'll have a flat deck trailer come up and it's almost like an open car trailer. And there is a lot more space out front for loading and stuff with for the unload department you gotta get it get it off the road as soon as possible so hope you guys enjoyed today's video like i said have a great day um all the doors are numbered this time so when we role play we can say hey johnny we're gonna be loading on door number one meet me over there with a the trailer or if we're having because we're gonna have people changing trailers out people loading and that's going to be in our multiplayer series. So with the doors numbered, we can have a dispatcher that changes all the doors out. We'll have supervisors. So if you guys want to play on this multiplayer server, definitely, definitely contact me on Discord only. So get in touch with me. I'll have the Discord link down in the description below. As always, have a great day. See you guys later. Links will be down in the description below as always.